video is to demonstrate where and how to download and install two useful free programs called CCleaner and Malware Bytes. CCleaner is used to clean temporary and internet cache files that are wasting space on your hard drive. And Malware Bytes is an anti malware or anti spyware scanning program that detects malicious files from your computer. Malware Bytes does not replace your current antivirus software, so make sure and leave that intact. A quick side note about free software. Whenever downloading and installing free software, keep in mind most companies that make free software available are making money one way or another. Sometimes they accomplish this by adding other third-party programs into the installation. Another thing they do is offer a trial version of the software. If your intention is to use their free version, make sure and pay close attention during the installation. Let's get started. To download CCleaner, open a browser window and visit www.download.com. You'll notice download.com redirects to CNET, which is a trustworthy website. Although, as mentioned, always watch for the installation of third-party software when installing the software you're actually attending to install. I'll point instances such as this out as the software is installed. Click within the search area to the right and type C Cleaner. All one word, no spaces. A list of related results will appear, and from that, click See Cleaner. Next, scroll down and click the Download Now button to the right of the entry See Cleaner. The next page will load, and you should notice a prompt to save the installation file. Note this step may be slightly different depending on what browser you're using. In this demonstration, I'm using Google Chrome. After clicking the Save button, the installation file will begin downloading. Once it's finished downloading, click to start or run the installation. At this point, I'll minimize the browser just to get it out of the way. Click Next. I personally don't want CCleaner to automatically check for updates, so I will uncheck the option along with a few other options that aren't necessary. Overall, I personally want a desktop shortcut and start menu shortcut to be added. After clicking the install button, the software will finish installing. I don't want to read the software releases notes, so I'll uncheck that option. The first time CCleaner is run, it will ask if you want to scan for cookies to keep. Click the Yes button. At this point, we're ready to run CCleaner. There is a totally separate video available about using CCleaner as well as Malware Bytes, so for now, I'll simply close the software. With this demonstration, there weren't any offers to install third party software but note that you may encounter this when installing CCleaner on your computer, or other software for that matter. While going through any installation, carefully look for any offers to install things such as toolbars or scanning programs, and make sure to opt out or uncheck any such offers. Next, let's go through the process of downloading and installing Malware Bytes. Returning to the browser, let's search for Malware Bytes. From the list that appears under the search, select Malware Bytes. Scroll down to the right of the Malware Bytes anti malware listing and click the Download Now button. When prompted to initiate the download, click Save or I suppose Run if you're using Internet Explorer or another browser. After the download completes, click to begin the installation. I'll minimize the browser again to get it out of the way. If you're prompted with a security warning, click Run or a related button in order to proceed. Click OK on the initial language selection prompt. 
then Next. Click the I Accept the Agreement radio button, then Next. Click Next again, then Next again, and again. Finally, select where you'd like a shortcut to be available. I personally would like a desktop icon, but not a quick launch icon. Click Next, then click Install. At this point, you'll see three options. Enable free trial, update malware bytes, and launch malware bytes. As previously mentioned, if you enable a trial version of the software, you will be prompted to purchase it after a certain number of days. It's extremely important that you uncheck Enable Free Trial, that first option, unless you are planning to purchase the full version after the trial period expires. At this point, Malwarebytes will connect and automatically update its database. Complete, click the OK button. Then the software will automatically open. As mentioned earlier, there is a completely separate video available that explains usage of both of these programs. Thank you for watching.